and this tree stands out in the forest. It was chosen to be the nest of one of the most fantastic eagles in Brazil. A little known bird. It's the fabulous black and white hawk eagle, known as Gavião Pardo in Portuguese and Águila Blanquinegra in Spanish. Scientifically named Spizitus melanoleucus, its most striking feature is its black mask, which contrasts with its bright yellow eyes. And I'm going to show you the nest of this powerful aerial predator, including scenes that have never been filmed before. And for those who don't know me, I'm William Menck, biologist and ornithologist, and I'm in the territory of the black and white hawk eagle. And the nest, it's right here. It's my favorite bird of prey, and I have a long history with it, and this video, guys, is very special. So leave a like, and you won't regret it. And this is an impressive nest built with twigs and sticks. It's a large bulky nest that stands out in the landscape. It is no longer active, but a few weeks ago it was he, the black and white hawk eagle fledgling who lived here, a feathered cutie. And he's about 40, 50 days old. And even though he's small, his strong beak and powerful claws already attract attention. The very careful parents are always close by. The female is bigger, weighing over a kilo, while the male is between seven and 800 grams. At the slightest sign of danger, the female defends her territory with her nails and beak. The male is more absent. He is responsible for bringing her and fledgling their food. Suddenly, the female starts vocalizing. And the male appears. He drops some food in the nest and disappears into the valley. In this image, you can see that he has brought a small pigeon. The duck hawk is highly specialized in catching birds in flight. It catches everything from pigeons and parrots to tinamu, toucans and herons. That other day, to our surprise, it was the female who showed up with food. She's bigger and more robust than the male. Look, I'm thrilled, see? You're watching an unprecedented scene as there has been no wildlife documentary about this eagle to date. And the nest is the fledgling security. At this age, it doesn't leave at all. He only goes to the edge to drop a little poop. But he's very curious. He loves to spy on the animals around him. He also loves to play with the leaves and twigs in the nest. Or to take a nap in the warmer hours. Look at what he's doing. He's exercising his wings and muscles. Soon he'll need to learn to fly. Now comes a new scene. Pay close attention to what's about to happen. That's the female. And the male is vocalizing next to her. See how she sort of slims her body and lowers her head. A behavior that means she's ready for copulation.
fantastic. This is a scene that has never before been filmed and broadcast. It is extremely difficult to document images like this. It's interesting that this copulation took place while the fledgling was still in the nest. I believe it serves to maintain the bond between the couple. And in this nest, copulations happened a few times, usually after the male dropped a prey in the nest. And because of their high dependence on the fledgling, the black and white hawk eagle couple only reproduces once every two years, and they always use the same nest. I've been watching this couple since I was 18. <laughs> And two weeks later, the fledgling is already bigger and looking like an adult. But you've got to improve that tuft, haven't you? It's not long until its first flight jumps from one branch to another. And then he takes his first flight. Fantastic. It's a clumsy flight, but he manages to fly from one tree to another. And at this age, he's already very confident. If he falls to the ground, he can get back to the nest. But then, even when flying, the fledgling still uses the nest as a reference point. That's where it sleeps and goes to get food from its parents. And at this age, the eagles bring almost whole or whole prey, so that the fledgling learns to cut the pieces of meat on its own. And although it looks like an adult, the fledgling still has a lot to learn. It will depend on its parents for a few more months until it finally learns to hunt. And once it does, it instinctively leaves its parents' territory and ventures out into the wild in search of its own. And a partner, of course. Look how interesting that is. Lots of little bees go in and out of the fledgling's nostrils, as well as those of the adult female. This is a natural mutual relationship. The little bee benefits by getting secretions out of her nostril, and the bird, of course, gets clean nostrils. And if there's one thing that stands out about this bird, it's its hunting tactics. I often say that the black and white hawk eagle is a master of the air, it hunts in a similar way to the peregrine falcon. It flies high in circles and when it sees potential prey, it closes its wings and dives like a missile, catching the prey in mid-air. In this scene, the victim was a picazuro pigeon. Look, I have a great passion for this species. And as I said before, the black and white hawk eagle is my favorite bird. No wonder it's on the logo of the Aves de Rapina Brazil website, which I created, and here on the logo of my vest. It was the first rare species I recorded at the beginning of my career in 2009, during a study I did in a forest reserve in northwestern Paraná. And thanks to my record, the black and white hawk eagle was honorably chosen as the symbol bird of this reserve the Parobas Biological Reserve, one of the most important conservation units in the north and northwest of Paraná. And although it is popularly called a hawk, it is considered by any expert to be an eagle. It occurs from southern Mexico to northern Argentina, including much of Brazil. And in all the countries where this bird occurs, it is called an eagle. In Argentina and Paraguay, they call it Aguila Viuda. In Venezuela, Peru and Ecuador, one of its names is Aguila Blanca e Negra. In English, its popular name is Black and White Hawk Eagle. The only country in the world that calls this powerful eagle a hawk is Brazil. This is true of several other Brazilian eagles. The harpy eagle itself, the chaco eagle, the osprey, and the black-chested buzzard eagle are also often popularly called in Brazil, the hawks. This is a cultural thing. Here in Brazil, we have learned to call any bird of prey a hawk, ignoring size, appearance, and behavior. 
Months ago, long before the female laid her only egg, there was a period when the pair often flew together over the territory, often performing some beautiful aerial acrobatics. It's the courtship dance of these birds. And look how cool this picture is. You can clearly see the difference in size between the male and female. In addition to the acrobatic flights, the male conquers the female by giving her prey as a gift. This is very important. It's the way the male tends to show his partner that he's a great hunter and that he's able to provide food for her and her fledgling. Remember that I'm a specialist in birds of prey, and that's why I watch this nest very carefully. Birds of prey are very sensitive and may abandon the nest if they are disturbed by the presence of people. And all the scenes in this video were filmed by me or my wife, Jessica. So if you like our work, leave a like and a comment telling us what you think of this bird. Your comments help a lot with the engagement of the videos and the growth of the channel. So that's it. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.